agenda. Who, uh, Ian, what do you have for today? Do you want Me. To um, I, I have stuff, yes, I'd like to discuss. Okay, why don't you go ahead. Okay, so um, this quarter I'm taking an uh, introduction to uh, GIS um, to try to get better with the software. Um, uh, I spoke with Todd Schubel, who's the primary GIS guy here, and I talked to him about sort of the tessellation method I was talking about for the Facebook searches. Um, he thinks it's a, it's a fine way of doing it, and he basically approved it. So um, I'm looking into uh, how I'm going to actually do the code in Python. So that way, uh, for any given shape we want to test, for example, wards or districts or whatever, where we want to be able to analyze the Facebook data, um, through this class, this quarter, I'm hoping we get to it in the next couple of weeks, but I should be able to, by the end of it, be able to code the stuff in Python with GIS to be able to effectively run the Facebook searches for whatever area or shape we designate so we can have more versatility in the type of analysis we do, and I think it'll give us better flexibility um, in terms of applying the methodology of the Facebook business analysis. I mean, we had talked about needing to um, explore the possibilities of that, and I don't think we're gonna see the full possibilities until I get the GIS component working. I don't think it'll be that hard. I just, he's pacing the course along with his pace, so as soon as we get to that piece, I'm gonna be able to do it pretty quickly, I think. So, um, that's my main update. Um, encourage you to simultaneous or before stressing that so much do build more things in some specific <coughs> sort of research design and what, yeah. know, what, what you can do and why um, anything new on that front? Um, I mean I think picking a topic is important so one thing I'm not sure is what, what would be the best like you know category of businesses to say analyze I mean do, do I, sh sh given our lab focus, should cafes be the primary thing that I focus on, or is 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 there another type that might be more interesting to study? I don't know. So I mean, that was something that did come to mind. Was just not not sure. Given that there are so many different kinds of businesses, I could do transportation. I could do, um, and there's just a variety of different ones that might be interesting. So. Um, but I think in terms of picking a research question, narrowing down the type of business is an important goal because otherwise I can't be more specific in the study. Yeah, well, well the, the two kinds of answers, um, what does the past <coughs> literature suggest is conceptually important and how can we contribute to the literature in the area and we started with Elazar for that reason. Uh, so if we, if we and, and then following up maybe scenes or the 15 dimensions of scenes as areas, in the, and the argument for scenes would be that we get people uh, in the U.S. and internationally who are, who are I, I think, well, yeah, did, did you answer, how, how much is this, is there a Facebook business, things like this is around internationally? You mean in terms of the ability to apply this to international settings? Yeah, this, does this, does this exist in a relatively similar manner in Spain, Italy, France, England? This methodology can be used in a variety of countries. But are the data there? Um, Facebook appears to be the most dominant platform in Europe. Uh, in, in China, Weibo is the primary one. So um, Weibo has an API. Yeah, just, so stay with Europe. Sure. Do, do we know in any way, for instance, is it, is it, is it one-tenth as used or about the same in England Compared to the or U.S.? Or, yeah, compared to the U.S. No, I don't know. Sure. You know that is... Maybe just a little on, on that would be that is uh, that or if we if we specifically look say at the countries where we have scenes participants, Portugal, Spain, France, um, Japan, China, South Korea, Canada, uh, and if if they have it, then that that's an argument for continuing generally, and and in terms of choosing one industry or or business type, I mean that. Cafes is great in terms of linking with our cafes paper, but that's one specific um, useful but, but limited. If we think of the Elazar types or the scenes dimensions, those then are based much more on an, on, on an extent sort of or some kind of sampling of a number of industries. What we did in France for that was basically to down, download everything that was called, I think, an organization. And, and when we did that from the, yellow, the French yellow pages, 
we got something like, well, we got you know, hundreds of thousands of not only individual organizations, but we got there, I think you had seven types. So they had religious organizations, they had business organizations, and, and so if you just said organizations, we got them all. And so we, we basically did that for all of France. Uh, and that, sh I mean, do, do you, maybe, I mean, if we're going to use the scenes dimensions, working with U.S. data makes more sense because of the fact that um, we have it by zip code and we can take that information and then use that directly with, like, by zip code in terms of the... Okay, and, and is, it, is there an easy, efficient way to do this for the U.S. that is, if, that is, that is to, instead of saying we want to just choose cafes or arbitrarily say we want, you know, billboard uh, repairmen or something, or let's say restaurants, um, um, could we do what we did in France, which was to get the whole thing? I mean, that, that is yeah, we probably could. I don't know what the computing requirements are going to be, but I can look into it. Like you have to store all that data. I don't know how much data that's going to be. Yeah, and 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 we and we that is. I'm I'm also saying Simon. I guess also. We don't want to have you waste so much time just building a data file that, that we're not going to have time to analyze it. But I'm, so I try, I'm, I'm asking, is there, is there an easy way to answer a sample? So, I mean, so we could, or is there a way that we could sample, say, all of the, all of the, um, if we took, say, or even if, if we took restaurants, all the restaurants in the U.S., is there a way we could do a, I mean, either, either a random sample or we could choose a sample of, say, the 10 largest cities, for instance. So the sure, 10 largest cities that's probably fairly easy to do. So something like th that. And that is, if we start with something, that is, if we have, don't have a clue as to how many of these things they are, are they going to blow up the, the, our, our, our hard drive and software? Maybe, maybe try, I mean, what you started with was, a, was the three largest cities. And so how about, how about starting maybe with the three largest cities and, get, and see if we could get all the business, or how many, or maybe start with three or four industries or industry types. And if you can get everything for, if you can get all the businesses listed, list, I mean, it's not all, it's going to be everything that's listed on Facebook. There are lots of industries that may not have anything on Facebook. But if you, if you can get everything on Facebook in New York, Chicago, and LA, and it doesn't blow the system, I mean, it's probably several million. But, I mean, we, we, we for instance, we, we got bands. We, we, we had a college student that built a data file of, I think it was three and a half million bands in the whole in the whole world, and and the beginning of it, I'm like, God, this is too big. But a couple of years later, Dan you know, Dan, Dan, Dan Silva went to work, and he you know he mapped them all for the whole U.S. and and, uh, and did a fine paper. So and and so, uh, or if once you got the data, you can then do a random sample of everything that's on your hard drive. So you're going to take every tenth one. And, Start start the analysis with a small with a smaller sample, but uh, without that is then you don't need to say I'm only going to choose this industry, and and we can we can choose this and we, we did choose industries in building the yellow pages database, but it was it was it was it was a lot of work. So I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm looking for easy quick decision rules, and when you when you have when you when you make these powerful statements such as it took me 15 minutes to download this stuff. Uh, you know, compared to the, <laughs> I mean, that's 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 great. So that is, a, and, and if it, if it really might work that fast and easily, or so to say, I mean, even if it's twenty four hours, you know, or thirty six hours, if you could download at most, it would be like that. Yeah, I mean, if you could download all the businesses in New York, Chicago, and L.A. in twelve hours, and it doesn't doesn't you know overfill the hard drive, that'd be fabulous. Okay, so. Um I'm going to see if I can implement, I have to, I have to, getting the GIS component is necessary to be able to do this, but I, I think it's going to be feasible in the next two weeks. Well, Rock, why do you need the GIS component? Because in order to match up the zip code data, I have to actually be able to, like, l carve out the businesses that, well, I guess I, guess I don't. I, I just wanted. I mean, if they have their address. I can, I can start do by doing it this way. I just meant for, 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 for other shapes and being able to do things besides just zip codes, we're going to need that. So if we wanted to do, for example, wards, which is something we had wanted to work with but had no way of measuring, 
there, that was something that this would allow us to do. Whereas previously we couldn't really analyze anything about the wars. And it left us with a situation where nobody's capable of analyzing what's yeah, going on. Wait. Sure. The, the first question asked Todd's charge to was how can we get, and you're creating, you're, you're, you're thinking in terms of creating a geographic um, information uh, system. Polygon, basically, rather than a point. That is, if, if, if you get point data, that is the exact latitude and longitude of each business, and it may be, it may well be in the RGIS system already, then you don't need to, to do that at all. You just, you just download the point data for each, the, 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 uh, the spatial uh, coordinates for, for every single individual unit, and then you can arbitrarily create any kind of polygon that you want. This is what Todd should, Todd Schubel, and, I mean, Christina, ought to, I mean, anybody else know enough RGIS to? I'll ask Christina, she's the TA yeah, for the I mean, class. I, okay, I'll say she's the TA in the class, but that may be fine. Okay, I'll see. So, I mean, so, I mean think of how to, th try to frame your question in a way that it doesn't, you know, give us too simple and automatic an answer, but say we're, we're thinking of how, how, do, how can we get a lot of data quick and easily, and if we can ideally get point, what they call it, they call it as points. Latitude and longitude. I get points. what you're saying. Not zip code. Then you can create a zip code data from, but second, probably in the addresses of most of these places, you'll get, you'll get the zip code in, 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 you know, in the Facebook listing. So it, I, gives it, your, it gives you the longitude and latitude too. That, that, then you've answered your own question. If you've got it, then you're, you're home free. So then, then what you can do, and and I probably have done, I think I've done this in the past, but Christina or Todd can, can, can bring you up to date. How do you get from a set of points to different coordinates, to different units like zip codes? And they and they probably simply say, you know, just put in this this and th these these two these two pieces of the ArcGIS software, and it, and it does it does it almost. In, in I should tr run some trials and ask. Um, excuse me, like what kind of um, what kind of uh, like the business data are you collecting? Because uh, I heard uh, you're you're gonna use like the uh, chi Chinese Weibo data, so for, for like what business uh, data collecting. So I'm just curious because I think that's what we're discussing right now. We're, we're, we're we don't know <laughs> <laughs> because uh, if you're collecting actually if you're collecting business data, uh, I don't think Weibo has a lot of it. Because um, although this uh, it, it is a like it is like a Chinese version of Facebook, but actually more people are using uh, are using the uh, like another like a uh, private Facebook on WeChat. Actually, not Weibo. So, so okay, I, yeah, yeah. So well, so 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 okay. Let me understand this. So I know there's WeChat and I know there's Weibo. Okay. So between these two platforms, are there publicly available business pages? I mean, uh, I think only the Weibo has public. So, right, so I mean like the question is, is like, I don't know what value that data is gonna have, but like that's one of the questions is, is that data worth exploring? And we, I haven't really, I'm not in a position yet to be doing that anyway, but like, I mean, once I have the, once I get this piece of it set up, that should be. Well, why don't we propose, if we wanna work on China, let's first find a Chinese leading collaborator rather than you trying Agreed. to become a Chinese. Agreed, agreed. You're, you're, you're wasting your time. Agreed. So, so, so why don't we keep talking and say, if th this is something that you might, for instance, work on, but let's talk about that <coughs> instead of just it being, I mean, he's, he's not proposing to do this for China himself, oh, okay. okay? No, I'm just offering the capabilities to yeah. empower other the, people the who are.